Welcome back to the Swine Web Egg Tech Review on Swine TV. Today we have Chris Baumgars, founder of Every Pig. Welcome back, Chris. Thanks, Jim. Always good to be with you. You keep innovating technology. So you just launched Every Pig Basic. It's just digital barn sheets. It's faster, cheaper, and easier than ever before. Can you elaborate on this product? Yeah, uh, I'd love to. So over the last eight years, every pig has really been my passion. And it, it started out with digitizing barn sheets. When I was a producer, we realized that we weren't recognizing and responding to pig health challenges quick enough. And it really was a systems issue. Most like most producers, we were collecting time sensitive information on pieces of paper. Most systems call them paper barn sheets. And these barn sheets were getting faxed into a centralized office once a month. So really they were only serving as mortality reports and it was kind of a trigger to pay contract growers as well. But that system wasn't doing much to help us treat pigs that were alive so they didn't become um, the part of that mortality report. So every pig basic is really, after eight years of uh, developing a lot of different functionalities, listening to the industry, um, that's kind of saying, well, we're maybe not ready for a change in, in a bunch of different departments, but we want to take one step forward in the process of digitizing things. And every pig basic really um, gets to the core of, of the platform, and that's digitizing barn sheets. So caregivers are completing digital daily checkups instead of on paper. And then admins such as field managers, veterinarians, production managers have access to that important symptomatic data, treatment data, mortality data in real time, instead of having that scattered across the, the countryside. So the main difference from the regular Every Pig app is just more of a simple approach and a more focused approach, Chris? Yeah, absolutely. So um, really what Every Pig Basic is gonna do is it's gonna get your foot in the door, um, get you on board inside the application, show you that your caregivers can use it and your team can use it and really bring down that functionality to a, a really simple, easy to use app. So what uh, what will you learn through a, a demonstration? Are you able to possibly show us, show us this in real time, Chris? Yeah, sure. I'd love to. Let me try share my screen here. Are you able to see this all right? Yep. Great. So this is a caregiver view. Um, every pig can be accessed on any device. It's a web app, so you don't need to go to the app store, cell phone, tablet, and if you have a tablet or a computer in the barn, computer at home. Um, most users are using cell phones. Um, so the, the daily checkup here is what we're looking at. Caregivers on average are completing this in about 45 seconds, according to Google Analytics. So we'll ask for movements on or off the farm, and that just helps us keep inventory straight. Um, we ask for mortalities. We separate these to acute, chronic, or euthanasia. And this is also something that we can add reason for mortalities. Some systems like their caregivers to try collect that information. Other systems don't. Um, users here can also upload photos or videos if they want. I'm not going to do that today for the sake of simplicity. Um, and then medications is another section. Um, in this case, I'll select Baytrill. We do antibiotic withdrawal period warnings. Each company can set their own antibiotic withdrawal period for each medication. So in this case, they've got Baytrill set to a 14 day withdrawal period. They can enter the head treated in cc's per head. And then lastly, we're asking for symptomatic data. We're really focused on helping our customers become proactive instead of reactive. Like I mentioned earlier, the whole, the industry is used to looking at mortality reports um, which is a good place to start, but it's really outdated. You know, we're trying to help you identify when you have problems before they be become mortality issues. So in this case, a caregiver will select the symptom that they're seeing in this group of pigs and then use this slider to select the uh, percentage of the group that's showing that symptom. And they can add as many symptoms as they're seeing in the group. Again, we can ask for photo or video upload. You don't have to do that. I'll say no today. And with that, the caregiver is done with the um, daily checkup. Now, the place where a lot of um, veterinarians and production managers will be spending their time is here in barn sheets. So think of this like your digital filing cabinet. Instead of having that information that was just filled out on pieces of paper, 
that are going to be hard to access. You might have to make a bunch of phone calls or a visit to the farm to get them. Now we have that information right here. So on barn sheets, this first page, you can get a snapshot of each group of pigs that you have under care. And if you want to dive in and get more details, you can do that as well. Um, we can export all this data uh, also. So that's super handy in case of like auditing. Um, this is all available. You can download and export within a couple of clicks. You can check out treatments that have been given. In this case, we haven't given any treatments to this group yet. Um, diagnosis history, pig movements, all that information is right here as well. But really the crux of it is just digitizing that daily checkup like I showed you and then giving you access to all of your groups of pigs, both open and closed groups, by the way, here in this barn sheet section. So that looks really efficient and effective. It's, it's a tool that you've developed, you've done all the backend programming to make it easier for producers and vets and anyone in the industry to manage data, and they can access it at any time, whether it's through the app or the, the desktop. Yep, that's correct. And just for the sake of um, clarification, the development team has been doing doing a lot of the heavy lifting on the on the coding and programming side, obviously. But um, yeah, we've done this all in house, and and really, we're just trying to help producers, uh, you know, do things like lower their mortality rates, help them be more efficient with their farm visits. Everyone's experiencing labor shortages out there and real challenges with their staff, and we believe that giving them real time access to this on farm data is gonna help them prioritize which farms they need to go visit and when, and maybe what can be taken care of through a phone call or a text message after they receive the information through every pig. So Chris, the top three reasons why somebody needs to try the app. Um, well, I just mentioned a couple of those, but I, to, to um, review them or, or summarize them again, I think you know prioritize your farm visits, um, provide support, to your on-farm teams. This is a big area I think that our industry can improve is empowering your caregivers. Um, one thing that's been really neat that we've seen inside the application is caregivers in general seem really open to giving feedback as long as they're hearing back from a veterinarian or a production manager. So I think there are some, some real areas of opportunity to empower your caregivers um, through technology like every pig. Um, we also have multiple language versions. So I know a lot of producers in the United States, for example, have primarily Spanish speaking caregivers and there are some communications gaps there. In every pig, those caregivers can put their settings on Spanish. They can complete every pig, the daily checkup in Spanish and their managers can receive that data in English. So we're really helping um, bridge the communications gap there. Uh, and I, I'd say finally, just becoming more proactive Every producer has had those situations, some of them on a daily basis where they wish they would have had the data sooner before they heard about 10 or 15 dead pigs in a group. And that's what we're trying to do is help these producers recognize challenges before they become a mortality problem. Is there anything that would surprise users about the app? I think how easy it is to use. Um, a lot of producers out there will say, you know, oh, my caregivers won't use it or they can't use it. And in general, that's just not true. We've onboarded over 2,400 different users across the globe, varying in levels of education and, and language. Um, most caregivers do not have any problem getting up and running on the app. Also, we've got some caregivers in their 70s, some of them their late 70s that are using the app as well. So I think the, the idea that caregivers aren't tech savvy or won't use a cell phone just is becoming less and less true. And you also, as you could see going through the demo, you don't need to be that tech savvy to jump in and, and fill out a daily checkup. We're speaking to you in a language that you understand. So I think really that, that's probably the biggest surprise for a lot of people in the industry is how easy it is to use. So what can the industry expect from you next, Chris, and every pig? Well, we're really focused right now on making things as easy as possible. You know, every pig basic is a very limited part of um, all the functionality that we offer to producers. We've also got tools that help producers manage treatment protocols. We've got customizable reports for like site visit reports, biosecurity audits, things like that, where we actually help with automating um, on-farm compliance. We've also got scheduling for logistics teams. But a lot of companies we've noticed aren't necessarily ready to make a huge transition like that that may affect multiple departments in their company. 
So every pig basic is really dialing it down to the simplest first step to help you digitize some of these on-farm records. And what we've been focused on a lot lately is just listening to our customer and industry feedback. You know, some of the most valuable feedback we've got are from companies that still aren't on board every pig yet. And maybe we've started trials with them or have just been in communications for a while. Um, but we really are paying a lot of attention to, you know, listening to what customers want and, and letting that drive our roadmap versus just thinking, hey, this might be cool for people to use. Um, we're, we're really trying to be sensitive to getting some industry consensus and, and especially listening to our customer base. Is everything at everypig.com? Um, yeah, you can, you can find out a lot of this information on everypig.com. Um, our users, once you're a customer, you know, the, the website is app.everypig.com. We have most people um, saving the app as a home screen icon. So it looks and acts just like a regular app that they're used to. But yeah, if you want any more information, I'd go to everypig.com and, and feel free to sign up for a demo. We always like talking to producers. Chris Baumgart, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Jim. Mm -hmm.